how things really work. Here's how, here's how. So much for you to learn about. Lots to see and do. Follow us, we'll have some fun. Here's how, here's how. Okay, are you ready? Ready? I love charades. You're spinning. I know you're a top. No! Oh, whoa! Oh, I'm not! So give us another clue. Zoom! 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 You drilling something? Yes. A tooth? Uh, no, it couldn't be a tooth. Uh, a hole? No. You're drawing a tunnel. Oh, I thought you'd never get it. A tunnel. That's a good one. Digging a tunnel is like taking a trip into the unknown. It's always been a very dangerous job. In ancient times, tunnels carried water to the fields. The Greeks and Romans built aqueducts, or waterways, through the mountains. Digging through the bowels of the earth took great courage. The work was slow and backbreaking. There were fires underground and rock falls. As time went on, machines were invented to make digging easier. And tunnels that a few years earlier would have been impossible to build were now everywhere. A mine is another kind of tunnel. 60 or 70 years ago, conditions underground were very unhealthy. The ore had to be chiseled out by hand and pushed or pulled to the surface in little carts. The greatest danger was water. It could suddenly appear out of nowhere and fill the tunnel. In a flood, there isn't much time to escape. Some engineers are experts at putting tunnels underwater. One of their ideas is to build big tubes on land and then sink them. I see. They build the tunnel first and then sink it. That's a great idea. This isn't something new. The Windsor-Detroit tunnel was made this way many years ago. Concrete and steel tubes were floated out and sunk under the river. Today, there are still dangers under the earth, but with the new machinery and safety rules, very few lives are lost anymore. The lighting is brighter, and there are even road systems and traffic laws. Driving underground is probably safer than on the highway. They should have watched the animals. They're good diggers. You're right. Many animals know how to tunnel. And here's one of them. Wild rabbits live in a system of tunnels called a warren. They're expert diggers, scraping with their front paws and pushing the soil out behind with their back legs. This machine, called a shield, digs like a rabbit. The claw on the front scrapes the earth. Just like the rabbit's front paws. So where's the tail? Believe it or not, the back end of the shield is called the tail. The earth is pushed out behind on a conveyor belt, then it's taken to the surface and dumped. When building a tunnel these days, every detail is worked out on paper first. 
Are there underground rivers? What's the soil like, rock or sand? Will there be gas explosions? This tunnel will soon be part of the Hong Kong subway. Much of it is being drilled through solid granite. You can't say that about this tunnel. Rock is easier to cut through than sand, and rock's safer even if it cracks or crumbles. But sometimes water leaks in. It's coming from an underground river. Chemicals and cement are injected into the rock to stop the water. The workers don't notice, but the air pressure down here is different than up above. Before leaving the tunnel, they must spend some time in a decompression chamber. Slowly, the air pressure on the body is changed. If they don't do this, they could die or become very sick. The tunnels and stations of the subway are built at the same time. They'll be joined together later. A jumbo drill is brought in to work on the ceilings. This station is ready to be joined to the tunnel. The wall separating the station from the tunnel is broken down. It'll take about 18 months to finish the subway. Tiles are put down, ceilings and walls finished, staircases go in, and most important of all, the tracks are laid. Here's one of the platforms. Everyone tries to finish by the deadline. There's still work to be done on the tunnel walls. They're being covered with curved steel plates. Each one is bolted tightly. And now the subway's ready to open. I think you could write a good adventure story about a tunnel. An adventure story? Why not? It's a perfect setting, don't you think? Almost anything could happen in a place like this. You could write about an ordinary tunnel that turns out to be magic and takes you to some weird place. Or an historic tale. Kings and queens often had secret passages under their castles, just in case they had to leave in a hurry. It can be any kind of a story. Sure, and put a mouse in it. Mice live in tunnels. Thank <laughs> you.